What is going on people? Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. Hey, today we have a very nice video that a lot of you guys always request is how to introduce two dogs if you don't know if they like each other or not. So how to introduce one dog that's a little iffy to another dog that's also a little iffy. And so I went to Michigan a couple weeks ago and I was working with a dog and she said, hey, my neighbor's dog, we want to introduce them. They seem okay, um, but Micah, the German Shepherd, is very reactive, growling, barking, and of course on the exterior, it kind of looks like maybe we're not that friendly. So I walked through the whole process of how to introduce these two dogs under these particular circumstances um, And I'm gonna be popping up in the screen and giving you guys kind of a play-by-play -play. Um, So anyway, I thought this was a good conversation piece. I know a lot of you guys uh, Ask about this of how to introduce dogs and if you're unsure and what cues to look for So anyway, if you guys haven't yet do not forget to like this video hit the subscribe button and um, I'll see you at the end of the video All right, so we have neighbor Brutus, which is a Sharpe. And we have Micah, leave it, leave it, who is very reactive to Brutus. And they're, we're trying to introduce them to see how Mike, because Micah is generally pretty good with dogs, but she has certain reactivity levels with different dogs. So the goal now is, is to go out and try to get Micah introduced to a new dog, which is neighbor Brutus. And as you guys just saw, she was barking pretty good for a while. So we're gonna go out and I'm gonna walk through the process of, I don't know, maybe they won't get along, but just how to introduce a reactive dog that's not aggressive to another dog that's pretty neutral and potentially friendly. Okay, break. Okay, break. Come on, baby. It's okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. So all good body language, tails wagging. Brutus is a little like, oh, this is different. <laughs> hey, Brew. Yeah, it's funny too, because they all, they all have dogs that come in out of the yard. There's no issue, but this. This barrier, maybe. Part of the scare, and then I think. Yeah, and the frustration of if, they're, if, they, if they have those barriers. Good job. Yay. Come here. So normally, have they met, like, met, met before, or they just kind of have been acquainted? They have met before, like, they go in early on. Stacy brought Bruce over. It's okay. Yay! They, uh, they were fine. Cool. But prior to that, like... Well, a lot of, like, what, what we were just seeing from Micah was um, the reactivity of, like we talked about earlier, of just being withheld. Yeah. Just because she's barking doesn't mean she's, like... Aggressive or anything. Like her hair, like, I mean, it was like so. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's not like a, it's not like a, a hundred percent like gotta go play, gotta go play. Yeah. She's more like I gotta go investigate. But the more you let them do this, good job, Brutus. Good job. Like Brutus is definitely liking this interaction. He's he's just a little nervous, yeah. um, which is, which is totally okay. Like, so the way that I did it was was very play nice or this is over kind of thing you know where i was like they're gonna they're gonna meet and if i see anything i don't like from her she gets corrected and then we pull her away and that's kind of how i how i did it i want you guys to listen to this next clip and with the dog owner next door she she her voice inflection is huge now this could be a situation that could make or break uh, a meet and greet with dogs and I want you to listen to how she says it and what she says. What she says is very like hostage negotiation of like, it's okay, I'm okay, everything's cool, we're cool, we're cool. And what it does is it creates that animosity and that tension between the dogs because of the voice inflection. And so naturally I try to always correct people but she's not my client, she doesn't, it's non-solicited um, in this case. And so I kind of do exactly what you should do d directly after which is cheering them on like good god good job guys you're doing good so again voice inflection is huge so i just want you to watch this next clip and listen more importantly look at the yay oh it's okay it's all fine good job birdie we like let them without leashes like at some point or how does that work? yeah yeah i i don't think that they're they're gonna have any issues um but you know just the only thing i would be worrying about is them running away but with them like together you just, what I would do is just do this more often. And I think Brutus would do better without the leash, like without the restriction. Cool. And at this point, it's just about like 
really just figuring out what's their deal like you know are they what's going on how are the, what's the signals here and it's really just Brutus is kind of like okay what are you going to do to me you know and then she's and I think it's the way that I think it's just the way that we kind of like approached it too yeah. um and this this prong that we switched to has that just has the ability to just get it like it's very defined you know it's kind of like nope just a little quick pop yeah. um just to correct like if, if, just you know just like any other dog like if you watch dogs interact and play um i'm like the third dog in this mix where i'm watching 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 and then there's always like the police aspect of dog pack mentality if you will <laughs> brutus is chilling he doesn't like the harness it makes an edge ah uh, like yeah and yeah yeah um and so i was playing that role of like i'll police if i feel like and you'll see older dogs do that frequently. Okay. Like if you get two dogs playing, the older dog will kind of go in and break it up and be buzzkill. Yeah. So that's what I would have done if like, if she got, you know, if she did anything I didn't like, I would have just corrected her and walked away. And she would have been like, okay. The thing is too is like, why don't you, one of you guys pet, pet Brutus and what, see if the, good because that would that was the only trigger i would have said that would have done anything as if one of you which is her you know pack um that might change something but so um in the future like if you're looking for different triggers because because right now they're good but they're also on se well yes and semi-neutral like we're not in the house we're not in the house we're not up on the patio and up on the patio so it's yeah. kind of a neutral area kind of it's his yard um but kind of hers too over there. Yeah. So anyway, so just that's the only thing I would say in the future is just like if you guys ever were to like cross each other's yard, just be conscious of it. That's all. Just like just being conscious of um, like if you were to pet him and then all of a sudden she went bing. Yeah. Like that wouldn't be out of character. I would be like, oh, that makes sense. So anyway, just wanna... watch that. Because I think Brutus would be like more confident, more comfortable off leash because he's not so restricted. Where like her, she's probably a little better on the leash for a little bit, just so if she decides to get grumpy for whatever reason, I can just go, nope. Good job, baby. And she really doesn't, she really doesn't care anymore. Yeah. So, um, but how did you get her across the threshold here? I just pulled her over, with, yeah. without the collar on, of course. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's a wrap for today. I hope this video was insightful. I hope it was helpful. Um, I just kind of picked this apart and I said, you know what, I think people are gonna be into this. I think it's gonna give them some good insight on, um, again, we had uh, Micah I know isn't aggressive. I know that she's not mean. Uh, and I know from from the stories I've heard that they really don't hate each other. They just, the they were, owners were just a little nervous. So uh, I just wanted to walk you through that process. I hope it was insightful and helpful. Of course, if you guys haven't yet, do not forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and in the comments below, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this video. I appreciate you guys very much, and I will talk to you probably Saturday. Bye! Hey.